Hey YouTube, Frankie Seshi here. Um, making a video today to show you guys how to uh, mod games for Euro Truck Simulator 2, Farming Simulator, any games that use SCS files. So basically, first what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, the SCS extractor, which I will provide a link for in the description. If you're going to be using Photoshop to edit the files, for the mod, you're going to need some plugins, and that's because Photoshop will not recognize the DDS format pictures that you're going to be editing standard. You're going to need these plugins. Now, in the in the description, I'll provide a link to download these plugins. Uh, it's a very easy setup, and it should be a small file. I think less than 18 megabytes, so it's not that big of a deal. So you're going to want to install those before you try to edit the DDS files with Photoshop. After you get that, now we're going to need to get the actual SCS file from our game. So how to do that, you go to Start, Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, and then you find your game, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and you get your base.scs file. This base file contains all of your, all of the pictures for the trucks and everything like that, that you, if you wish to modify, this is what you have to get. So you right click that and you click copy. Once you have that copied you can click out of that. Now you want to make a new folder on your desktop. You can name it anything you want. For this I'll just put it as test. You take your SCS extractor and you put it into the test file. Now you want to paste your base file in here. And now this could take a while so I'll be back. Now once you have the base file uh, it completed in pasting into this folder, once you have that you're going to want to click base and you're going to want to drag it to the SCS extractor. Okay. Now it's going to be doing a lot of things for a while so you're going to want to minimize that and I say give it about five minutes to do this because the uh, the command prompt that comes up here it doesn't really tell you when it's done and uh, see it, it's putting all the files into the folders here so give that about five minutes if, you, if I were to go to the directories see it says this folder is empty so give it some time and we'll be back in about five minutes okay so now we're back took a little bit longer than five minutes so give it a little bit of time before just to be safe uh, to test, to make sure every one of the files went over uh, seamlessly, we're going to want to go into our test folder. Then you're going to want to go to the vehicle, uh, and you can check any of these. And just make sure that you have some files in here, like PMDs and DDS files, stuff like that, because otherwise uh, that means that, you're, that the uh, SCS extractor is not done, so you need to give it a little bit more time. But if it is done, then you're ready to proceed to the next uh, step. Like I said before, make sure you have those plugins installed before you try to edit the photo in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to open up Photoshop, and then we're going to look for our file that we're wanting to edit. So you go here, you click File, Open. And once you're in Open, you're going to... We're going to find our f uh, file that we're going to be editing, which for demonstrational purposes is going to be the truck that I have. Uh, so you go to Vehicle, Truck, uh, Renault Premium, and Color.DDS. And load using default sizes, check OK. So here we have our, um, our truck. Now we can pretty much, you know, edit if we want to. Uh, we're going to do something simple here, just, you know, so it doesn't take forever. And we're going to get the brush tool. Let's see. We're going to put green right here. Maybe some other color. Okay, now once we have done that, you're going to want to click File, Save As, and then click D3D slash DDS, 
and then you can save this to your desktop. Uh, save it as the color because that was the name of the of the .dds file that we had opened earlier. Save it as color. Click save, and then you'll probably get this. Click DXT5, and then click save again. After the file has finished saving, you're going to want to minimize or close Photoshop, whatever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and close it just because it's demanding on my RAM. Okay, and so now we have here the color.dds file. So now we're going to want to create a new folder, and we'll name this folder vehicle. And I'll explain why. Go to your test. You can open up your test folder here. And then you'll see it says it says vehicle. So now we're gonna go into vehicle. We're gonna create a subfolder, and we're gonna name this one truck. Go into the truck file uh, folder on your test folder, and then now you're gonna have another directory to make. Open that up. Click new folder. Renault. Premium. Okay. Make sure it's spelled exactly how it is. Open that up. Now you're going to take the color dot tobj. I don't know how you would say that. And you're going to drag that into here. And then close out of the test folder. Well, actually, excuse me, you're going to have to copy that, not drag it. Copy and paste it. And then click out of your test folder, get your new color.dds folder, and then file, and then put it in the same folder. So you have color.tobj and color.dds in the same folder that says Renault Premium and all of this, all in the vehicle folder. Close that up. Now you're gonna want. Now this is the part where you're gonna need WinRAR. Uh, you should already have that. It's easy to get. Uh, and then you're going to right click the folder, click add to archive, archive format, save it as a zip, and compression method, use store. And then click OK. Now you'll have this new zip file right here on your desktop. And here is the part where it could get a little tricky. Go to start computer and click organize, folder and search options, go to view and make sure it says make sure hide extensions for unknown file types I mean for known file types make sure that's unchecked the reason why is because we're gonna need to rename the dot zip and if that is not checked off then we're not gonna be able to do that so rename click right click and then rename and then you can name this whatever you want we'll name it my mod and change the dot zip to dot scs click yes now you have this scs file here now if you click start computer go to your documents and euro truck simulator 2 there's a mod folder where you're supposed to throw in your mods now you throw this into your mod folder on your game and when you put the game in uh, your truck will be different colored. So let's go ahead and test that. Okay, so as you can see here, we're, we are in the game, and uh, my Renault Premium has the, uh, it has the colors that we had put on the side, and uh, so it, it worked. Well, I hope you like the tutorial, guys. And like I said, this is a, this is just a small video of just sampling the, the large amount of things that you can do and modify in the game um, you know uh, sky's the limit pretty much with this uh, keep in mind that if you're gonna be changing something else obviously the folder names that you create are gonna have to reflect the folder names that that you had to get to to go there for example if you wanted to you know add a different material you have to create a folder for material logo and then one of these so 
don't you know don't accidentally put vehicle and then truck and then Renault premium for the other truck on accident or something like that so uh, keeping that in mind I hope that you guys play around with this and I hope you understand it if you don't uh, feel free to private message me or leave a comment in the video and I'll try to help you out thanks bye